Good morning children. Now we already know the two measures of central tendency of data which are the arithmetic mean and the median. So today we shall learn about the third measure which is the mode of data. First, what is an arithmetic mean? The arithmetic mean of a given data is defined as the sum of values of data divided by the total number of values. And its formula is mean is equal to sum of all values divided by the total number of values. Next, what is median? When the data values are arranged in an ascending or descending order, the central value is the median. Is there any other measure of central tendency of given data? Let us find out. As we saw in the story, in a cloth shop, the seller sold many sizes of white shirt like the small which is S, medium which is M, large represented by L, extra large which is represented by XL and double XL which is extra extra large. But all the sizes were not equally popular like very few people needed double XL. On the other hand, medium and the large size was very common. Still, the shop needed to keep double XL, XL sizes as people needed those two. So, the challenge was how many pieces of each size should be kept by the shop owner so that all got sold and everyone got the size he wanted. The shop owner always recorded which size of the shirt was sold and how many in number for one month the small size sold were 15 the medium size sold were 35 50 large size were sold and 25 XL size were sold and only 5 double XL were sold now how did he use this data to place an order well the shop owner calculated the average using the arithmetic mean of these values. How did he find the mean value? He added the total pieces sold which was equal to 130 and the number of sizes were 5 sizes. So the mean would be 130 divided by 5 which is equal to 26. Using this mean value he placed the order for 26 piece of each size. Now what was the problem faced on ordering mean number of shirts sold for each size? As we saw the demand for large was very high and even for the medium. Hence 26 medium and the 26 large size sold out very soon and he ran out of the stock. On the other hand, the small XL and double XL size were not so popular and these weren't sold much. In fact, there was an overstock as even from the previous month, stock was not much sold for these sizes. Thus, neither the seller nor the buyers were happy due to this. So we see the arithmetic mean cannot be used always to represent the data. So which is the correct way to find the central tendency of the given data in such cases? Later we saw the shopkeeper did not place order by the average number of shirts sold. Instead, he placed order based on which size was more popular. For example, if 10 people bought shirts from the shop, which size most of the people wanted? Here is a record of sizes asked by 10 customers small, medium, 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 large, 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 large and extra large. Which size appears most frequently in the list? Well, it is large. So, large is the most common and the shop owner should order more of it instead of the mean of all the shirts sold the previous month. Thus, the shop owner ordered for 40 large 
which is the most common in the data as most of the people asked for it. Next, 30 medium which was the second most common in the data. Third, 20 XL, then 10 small and only 3 double XL as lesser customers asked for them. So this way the seller sold more and even the buyers were happy to get the desired size. You know the number which occurs most frequently in a given data is called the mode of that data. Hence we can say the size large is the mode here in the given five sizes small, medium, large, extra large and double XL because the large was sold the most 40 in number. Not only in the cloth shop the shoe store or any other store records what customers want and places bigger order for the popular products. For example a shoe store owner wants to know which shoe size is the most common. He recorded data for the 20 customers each day. So it was 6667788888888899101010 and 11. Which size is most common? Well, it is size 8. So, if he keeps more of size 8 shoes, say of different design too, it will certainly increase his sale. Which is the mode here? We know the value which occurs most frequently in the data is said to be the mode of data. So, here in case of the shoes, the shoe size 8 is the most common and it is the mode of data here. Just like in the case of cloth shop. The large size was asked by the most of the people, so the large size was the mode of data. So when is the mode useful? The mode of the data is useful when one needs to find which value is the most common one. For example, after voting, 100 people were asked which party did they vote for. 23 voted for party 1, 56 for party 2, 12 for party 3, and 9 for party 4. So party 2 was the most common in data so it would possibly win the election. Here we say party 2 is the mode of data. So remember children what we learned today? The number which occurs most frequently in a given data is called the mode of that data. For example this data represents the age of class 5 students 9 10, 10, 11, 12, 11, 11, 10, 10, 12, 10, 9, 13. Here, the most frequently occurring or the most common age of class 5 student is 10. Hence, we can say the mode is 10 here. When is the mode not useful or it doesn't give much information of given data? You know, the mode isn't useful when the values doesn't repeat itself much or the repetition is very less compared to the total number of values. Here is the data of income of Keshav for 6 days. Look, only 300 is repeated. So the mode of data is 300. But the mode value 300 doesn't give right idea about his daily income as most of the days he earned much more than 300. So we use mode to represent data when we need to know which value is most common and that value appears much more frequently than the other values. So in this case if we find the arithmetic mean that would represent his daily income better in this example. In another case, a person wanted to buy a house, so he gathered data about the prices of different houses. The prices started from 30 lakhs to the very expensive house 95 lakhs. Here we cannot find the mode of data as no value is repeated. So remember children, the mode is useful or used as representative number only if the given data has many identical values. 
last but not the least remember children the single values which represent the average value of the whole data are referred to as the measures of central tendency of that data and there are three measures of central tendency mean median and the mode and we choose the right measure based on the nature of data and the purpose for which the average is required that's all for now bye bye children